Hello, I am Cosmoyo. I am going to show you how to make an object rig like this one in a light motion. If you want to make your OC asset look more natural and 3D. In this video I am gonna show you how to make your rig and how to use it. This is not a tutorial on how to clean and animate. But I am planning to make one in the near future. Now this video will most likely be long. But I just want to make sure to include everything. If your OC is an object like this. I will make a tutorial in the future of how to make 3D assets for those since I don't know how to do that yet. But I'll figure it out one day so you don't have to suffer. Instead I'll suffer. But that's okay. Also I am using the pro version of a light motion. But a few ads won't stop you. With all that being said, let's get started. The programs we will be using are, a light motion, and Ibis Paint X. You can draw in other apps but I am used to using Ibis Paint when making assets. Plus it's easy to use and understand. First of all, we need an object. I wanted to find something round that still had a flat surface to stand on. So after 2 minutes of searching for random objects on Safari, I finally found this cup from my kitchen cabinet, with two orphans on, waiting to be adopted. Look at them, they are so excited. Open up Ibis Paint and create a new canvas with a high resolution, and sketch out your object shape using the symmetry tool you can find up here. For the pattern we will use a technique we have seen in BFDI before. For example golf balls asset, where the pattern goes outside of the silhouette. If you have a pattern that goes all over the body, make it go out of bounds in all directions. Here I didn't need to do that. Sketch out other accessories you want. Here I added some caramel whipped cream hair as well as the handle. These three layers will be the most important for this 3D stuff to work. Draw the outline of the silhouette and duplicate it. Fill the whole silhouette with your main color. Keep the color plain. If your main color happened to bleed out of the outline, use the magic wand and select outside of the outline. Then erase the bleed. For the outline, choose a dark color or just black and set an opacity that you think look good. The handle has the same color as the body, so I made the outline of it the color I chose. Draw your pattern, don't bend it in any way just keep it straight. When you're finished, clip it to the body layer and you can play around to see if it works. If you wondered where the orphans went, they got adopted by a lovely couple, and is now living on a farm far far away. Draw your other accessories. Depending on what it is, they may need multiple layers, like the hair where I separated it into two pieces. It gives it a lot more 3D effect in the end. Here I also had to make a circle at the top since the top of the cup is flat. I forgot to make one for the bottom but that's okay. Now that you're finished, make sure that the layers are in the correct order. In this case I got 7 layers. Save each layer by clicking the three dots in the corner and click save layer as transparent PNG, and save them from down to up. Their opacity should all be at 100%. Now the rigging part doesn't take long at all if you don't have many layers. Create a new project and name it. Insert name, rig. Import all the layers. Decrease the opacity of the outline to match with the other colors. If you don't have any elements with the same color as the body, then adjust it till it looks right to you. Name all the patterns. It will be so much easier to use it later when animating. You can also color tag them if you want to. Book. Clip the pattern to the body by clicking on info, and then create clipping mask. For parenting, I parented them in this order. Move your body and see if everything is going along with it. Put the, the anchor points around where I am showing on the layers. It will be different if you have other elements but it's mostly the same. On both hair layers, select the effect parenting helper, and lock scale. This allows you to create more 3 d effecty stuff. This is optional depending on what object your OC is. But since Cuppy is spherical I am going to add, pinch bulge, and then adjust it to your liking. I know there is 3D object effects you can use, but I haven't tried them out so much yet and don't know how to work with them, so... Now, I created a new project and imported the rig by clicking elements, then projects, then import the rig. 
convert to group, and then ungroup. I added limbs and a face, and parented them like this. But there is a problem. The arms go out of the body, but it's easy to fix when we start tweening. Set your keyframe and move the pattern either left or right, it doesn't matter what direction. Now we will move the arm back to where it should have gone, move it down under the body layers. On normal assets we could have used guides to help us locate where the legs will connect to the body. But because the character is turning then the legs will turn with it too, but stay in the same place. From this angle the handle back accessory will go behind the asset, and slowly move to the opposite direction of the pattern. As hair 2 isn't directly connected to the body we will move it out a bit to the right, and widen hair 1 to give it more effect. The face should also have its own movement. Make sure it stays on the same place under the pattern. On this pattern it's easy to see where the face will go, as the face should go directly under the heart. You can also scale it, and perhaps skew it depending on the object's shape. Do not forget to move your pinch bulge effect to the opposite direction with the x-axis. If you're not sure you moved it enough you can unclip the pattern to see better. The same logic goes for making your OC move up or down. Move your pattern up, but also the pinch bulge effect on the Y axis. The face won't follow anything you do on the effect, so you will have to move it up to match the position it was at before. The circle at the top will be squished up, because we can't see it from this angle. I would have done the same for a circle at the bottom, but I forgot to make one, and that's okay. I changed the parenting from hair 1 to follow the circle, and used the parenting helper, lock scale. The handle, back accessory will, again, move the opposite direction of where the pattern went. And that's mostly it. Animating with a rig like this can take a lot of time, so you need patience for it. If you happen to try this out and want to post it to YouTube as a video or community post, please tag me in it so I can see. I made an animation using this rig, showing that it can not only be used for animation memes and stuff, but also actual object show animations. Speed animation time. It all seems so familiar, yet I know I've never been here before. I feel so at home. It all seems so familiar, yet I know I've never been here before. I feel so at home. Dot. As I mentioned I am going to make a tutorial on how to animate objects in a light motion soon. I just gotta practice animating like the official way, because the way I tween is personal to me, and I don't think I'd feel comfortable with others animating the exact same way as I do. Besides, I don't animate in a consistent way, and don't have a step-by-step -step way of doing it, which can be extremely hard to explain. But as soon as I figure it out I'll try to make a video about it. Now have a lovely day, I am gonna go sleep for 30 hours now.